Welcome to the channel back folks, the hobby Joan. Pilot channel, can you guess with Joan? This is, it's hovering very well here in a strong breeze, no Femi job or Jeff, no Hobson job. It is the Grail X38 entry level budget beginners Joan and it is holding its own here in the wind. So I'm here at the Long Bay Canal and I have with me the Goreal X38 Level Entry Beginner Budget Joan and I'm going to take a page out the Idaho Sprat Captors book and I'm going to do a manual journey. So up and away it goes. and the video quality looks good for a budget tool so the question that i want to pose is do you have to buy an expensive tool to enjoy the hobby as a hobbyist do you need an expensive DJI Joan and Artel, Skydio, you know, one of those expensive thousand dollars Joan? Or could you have just as much fun flying around a uh, level entry Wi Fi beginner Joan, such as the Gorail X38? I'll give you my answer at the end of the the video but this Joan has performed exceptionally well every flight the Joan seems to perform better true 4k camera albeit only records at 24 frames per second it has a three axis Gimbal, yes, a three axis gimbal that actually works. 4K photos that looks good. As you can see on the horizon, there's a little bit of curvature, but that is acceptable in a drone in this price range. If you have extremely bad horizon tilt. And expensive jewels like the Fimi and the Atel, etc. This is a drone that I picked up on Amazon a while back for $159. So I have no complaints with a little curvature at all on the horizon it is a wi-fi drone and so it doesn't have very long range in fact it has a range of 500 meters or 1640 feet but if you're flying a drone as a hobbyist or a beginner and with the rules in most countries that you have to fly within line of sight by the time you get out to a thousand feet you can barely see the drone so a range of 1640 feet is quite um, acceptable for drone in this price category and i've gotten it out to about 1300 feet before i last FPV feed but there's no need to fly a drone in this category that far six seven hundred feet is quite 
be reasonable. The joan comes in addition to the gimbal on the 4K camera. You can record your video and photos to an SD card. A lot of drones in this category. You have to record your videos and photos to app or to your, your phone. The drone is over 250 grams. So it cannot be considered to be a, a mini drone. It's 350 grams, but there's some advantage to that in that it handles the wind much um, better and is probably more stable while flying. Although I must concede that sometimes I get the impression that while I am flying it moves around a bit but I don't think it is because it has been pushed around by the wind I think the issue is that it normally gathers our fires a very low satellite pump the most that I've ever gotten out of this drone is like 12 satellites and the most I'm averaging between six to eight it allows you to take off with five it flies okay return to home even with that low satellite come if it use a, a stable so there is no bobbing and weaving and up and down. They are fairly stable videos. Every once in a while, you might get very slight shaking, but again, acceptable. Depends on how quick you turn or how strong the wind is. It comes with two batteries. And then each battery, according to the spec, you're supposed to get 22 minutes flight time. I can attest that you get well over 20 minutes. And even when it is done on one bar and it is in low battery return to home, you can still fly a long time. And one bar. So I'm flying in a different area here now. This is the along the community, and I'm just going to push out over the the canal in the Leeward community. I may have said the Long Bay community, but this is the Leeward community. So I'm just going to push out in the Leeward community up to the New Haven Resort and just have a look around. Look at all the houses and the water. But back to this joke. It handles the wind exceptionally well. I've done a video about its performance in the wind. I think that it handles the wind exceptionally well. I did an unscientific over and test with this joke and the DJI Mini SE in very strong wind and I thought that it handled itself quite well and you can go into the app and you can change the telemetry from meters to feet although it will still show meters and the, and the control but you could have um, on the app while you're flying on your phone you could actually see the telemetry the telemetry in in feet for those who are more comfortable with feet than meters and it reads accurately 
So there's a lot going for for this drone. So do you want to to buy a drone for five, six, seven hundred, a thousand, fifteen hundred without actually learning how to to fly a drone properly and then end up crushing it and losing all that money when you could buy a drone in this category and get reasonably good performance or as a beginner hobbyist that you really need to break the bank in order to sustain your hobby or your passion those are questions that needs to be assessed very carefully and I'm flying around here and it's a quite a strong breeze you would believe that it is quite a, a very calm day the way how the drone is actually performing but there's a stiff breeze and there's no indication of that really from the the video because the drone is, is handling the wind quite well it's quite a big drone quite a, a heavy drone with a large arm standing so I, I guess that it, it sits well in the the air so and you could see some stutter in there and I think that is just because of the the wind and the wind probably picked up but no damage done and again it is acceptable for June in this era in this price region and children in 60 60 dollars sometimes you spend more than that in a drone and when you take it out of the the, the the carrying case and you charge the batteries you do everything that the manual says and then you take it out in the field it doesn't take off it has some sort of defect this walk fabulously right out of the the case and I've seen many videos and heard many stories of beginners even accomplished pilots drone pilots purchasing very expensive drones and having bad experiences with crashes etc and a lot of back and forth in having it repaired and sometimes it costs just as much as the drone to, to, to have it repaired. So, why go through that sort of headache and horrors if you, as a hobbyist, as a beginner, can buy a fairly tree beginner drone that actually works? This has a bunch of intelligent flight features like follow me which is a gps follow that actually follows the control on your phone but it works flawlessly it has a circle motor orbit i think it calls surround surrounding fly or whatever but it works and it has whip points that works without any glitches it doesn't have the advanced sort of whip point that you will find on dji jones where you could do certain pre-plan with points etc but what it has to offer action works now i'm going to show you some video flying this drone in more low light environment and it is well into the evening here approaching 6 p.m or so i believe or just after 6 p.m 
and uh, you could see that camera is still performing well here a lot of details you can still see in low light so you are actually getting more than what you would bargain for in a, a low end sheet beginner Joel because in low light the camera still performs reasonably well and a beginner will have a lot of fun and a lot of satisfaction actually find this tune knowing fully well that they have not actually broken the bank or put, in, put themselves through any financial inconvenience in order to enjoy the hobby and sure, I do have more high-end Jones. I have a few DJI Jones, Potency Jones, and and so forth. But I still do enjoy flying these low-end Jones, and they perform quite well. And for me, it gives me a lot of satisfaction. I've always said in my description that flying Jones is like therapy for me after a hard day's work or a hard week at work i just like to get out and, and fly most times i don't i don't record and i don't actually post it now it's dark here and again you could see that at least you could see what you record what you're recording i'm not saying that it has any special special night features night mode etc so that you could actually turn on and get very quick some night videos but at least on a budget job you could still fly in the night and see what exactly a job is um, recording your some fire angels where the footage is not a lot better than what we are seeing here. So, in the night, the camera also works. As you could see, all the lights and the utility poles are on. Lovely lights underneath and the front and rear arm and the landing has gotten much better doesn't land as hard as it did previously as you can see more soft landing than before so my view is that you do not have to buy an expensive jewel as a hobbyist to enjoy the hobby as a beginner you don't have to break the bank to actually enjoy the hobby you can find the reasonably priced jones that actually work and actually give you a lot of satisfaction in flying and in your enjoyment of the the hobby as a beginner if you like this video please give it a thumbs up most of all i thank you for watching cheers so it's time to land this budget drone the gorilla x 38 wi-fi drone